but actually to get the actual the best uh, quality and everything you want to go to effect and you want to pick uh, reverb in the list this one this guy now as you guys can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine markers that you can mess around with <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and I'm back to a brand new Audacity tutorial, it is Thursday and it's a brand new video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add echo and or slash reverb on your on your audio. So it's going to be really simple and if you want to apply this effect there's going to be a few uh, really small steps you need to follow in order to do this right. So I would say let's get started. So the first thing you need is actually an audio recording. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to record myself real quick. Okay guys, so this is just an audio example of me showing you guys how to place reverb slash echo on there, so let's go. Okay, so this is our audio and this is what it sounds like. Okay guys, so this is just an audio example of me showing you guys how to place reverb slash echo on there, so let's go. So now that we have the audio, we want to select, go, you want to go ahead and select everything. Then you want to go over to effect and then we basically we see two different things is we see echo and we see reverb and you're thinking which one should we pick? Well, we're going to start off with echo. The next thing that you want to do is you want to click on to press on preview. Okay guys, so this is just okay, an guys, audio so example. Is, so that is basically like a, to, to hear what, you, what, the, what you're applying. So the next thing is you want to place the delay to uh, zero. So you can mess around with those settings like if you want, but actually to get the actual, the best uh, quality and everything, you want to go to effect and you want to pick uh, reverb in the list. This one, this guy. Now, as you guys can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine markers that you can mess around with and everything, it does a little bit uh, different. So let's say the room size is we're going to make place this guy to 50. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so this is just an audio example of me showing you guys how to play this reverb slide. So that's basically sounding really, really good. So you can even make the room bigger, like that we're like in a giant room. Okay guys, so this is just an audio example of me showing you guys how to play this reverb slide. So what I would recommend is keep the pre-delay on zero and I would say let the tone high also uh, on zero. You can mess around with, with this guy uh, which is the damping. Let's see, let's see if I place this guy to 75. Okay guys, so this is just an audio example. So that's sounding really good. So this is how you apply reverb and echo on there. Of course, uh, you can like change all those markers and place it to your own ones and needs. Once you're done, you want to click on OK. And it's going to apply the effect on there. And I would say that's a simple list. So that's it for this Audacity tutorial, guys. It's a really small video, I know, but that's a simple list. So thank you for the continued support. And thank you guys for 60,000 subscribers. We just had that today. I'm so thankful. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.